Hello everyone. I'm a little bit late to this news. I think it broke a few weeks ago, but I just found out myself when I went to check my account, and that is Nippon Yasan is gone. <laughs> Any payments people have made are probably gone, like their social media accounts are gone, and this whole thing is really, really shady. So let's talk about it a bit. So if you don't know Nippon Yasan, they are, or I guess were, uh, one of the bigger retailers for uh, not just anime figures, but also just anything Japan weeb stuff. Like, uh, I think they had some cards, they would have had like action figs and stuff. And I think a big reason why people use them was because they would generally stock uh, exclusive things from like Japanese web stores that could only be available in Japan. But this incident is the last of many weird things that have happened with Nippon Yasan over the years that I've been a customer of theirs. And now me, along with, I guess, a lot of other people have lost money in this, uh, which is kind of disappointing. So yeah, the history hasn't been that great. I know there's at least one instance on MFC where they sold a bootleg figure. I think they fixed that, and I haven't seen them mess up like that again. Um, it's kind of ridiculous that a store could even do that, but it's Nippon Yusan. I've been looking around online about what everyone's been saying about this, and it seems like once the pandemic hit, Nippon Yusan really went down the drain. I don't know why. Maybe it was a money thing. Maybe it was a shipping thing. I don't know. We can only speculate, I guess. But I did come across a thread talking about and confirming that Nippon Yasan sold customer account details for Bitcoin. <sighs> Sorry, when I was researching this a little bit, I didn't expect to find that out, but uh, yeah, things only get worse. <laughs> so I'm going to jump over to Chrome here and then show the weirdest part about all this. <laughs> So if we type in nipponyasan.com, it redirects us to Nin Nin Game. Why? Why? Also, if you just Google Nippon Yasan, there's also the first thing that pops up is its ad for Nin Nin Game, which says Nippon Yasan is no more. But we are Nin Nin Game. What? So I've done a bit of digging. Apparently, Nin Nin Game deny everything about this. They say there's no affiliation with them to Nippon Yasan. From what people are saying, Nippon Yasan is trying to take down Nin Nin Game with them as they collapse and explode in this in this whole thing. Uh, I don't know how much truth there is behind that. Uh, I guess we'll have to trust them, but I'm not sure if I have any trust left for anyone at this point. The next few links, one is this Facebook group called Nippon Yasan Tricked Me Too, which is, which is such a funny, cute name for a Facebook group. Um, I think I've looked at this before. I think it was under a different name originally, um, because they haven't been responding to support tickets for like a long time like a couple of years it's it's just a disaster so everyone in here is just complaining uh you have the nip on on twitter which is the only social that's still up and this just hasn't been updated since december 14 which is when the site went down and then just like a bunch of threads being like nip on san appears to be shut down is anyone else unable to access nip on san uh it's it's bad. This whole thing is bad. Even this one a year ago was like, let's talk about Nippon Yasan legal action. <laughs> so they've been screwing people over for a while, but this is, this is the worst. So this is what the Facebook group looks like. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, do not trust Nippon Yasan anymore. If you had any problems with them recently, join us and tell your experiences. I must say at this point, if you have outstanding Nippon Yasan orders, I would definitely try to go through whoever you paid with, whether it's PayPal or your credit card company or whatever that is, and try to charge back if you can. 
I think PayPal has a six month window. And if you're outside that window, then you're probably screwed. So definitely get on this as soon as possible. So people here are obviously very skeptical of Nin Nin Game. This is the response someone got from Nin Nin Game. Uh, in light of recent rumors about Nin Nin Game being linked to Nippon Yasan, we would like to let you know that we are in no way affiliated with them in any way. We are also not responsible for this redirection of the Nippon Yasan site to Nin Nin Game. It has been done without our authorization in an effort to harm our reputation. We would advise you to assert your rights and demand a refund for any pending orders with Nippon Yasan. It's kind of sus, but you might just have to trust them at this point. <laughs> There's a whole lot of people in here who just are sharing their experiences with this. Some people here have gotten their money back, so it might be a good idea to, if you do need to do a claim or a dispute or something, uh, look in here and see what people have done. It might help you out. And then, yeah, since this group has existed, it's like since before Nippon Yusan died, uh, there's also a lot of historical stuff about people just getting screwed over. Uh, like this guy getting a discount voucher instead of an actual refund. Uh, so this was the post on MFC telling people Nippon Yusana shut down. Uh, I would say if you are skeptical about a store for figures, I would always check MFC to see other people's experiences with that store. There is a huge wealth of knowledge there. There's people who have learned these lessons for you, so you don't have to trust a store that looks kind of sketchy. So MFC does have this club linked here. I'll also leave a link to it in the description and the top comment, which is the figure site and shop forum. So on here you have a link that takes you to the rating pages for pretty much every shop that you could ever find to buy figures from, as well as actual customer feedback, which can help uh, when deciding whether or not to purchase from somewhere. Kind of funny, this this one first comment that I found <laughs> saying, the company Nippon Yasan is closed since the 30th of June 2021 and officially removed from the French trade register. Which would be hilarious if Nippon Yasan has just like evaporated six months ago and now the site's only like just gone down and been redirected. That'd be... It'd be funny in a dark, sad kind of way. <laughs> I'll also link the web shop thread for Nippon Yusan in the description if you want to look through this. There's a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of people trying to help each other, trying to get their money back. I think in a situation like this, uh, any tips or things to help people out is certainly a good thing. And yeah, I'm gonna have to try some of this stuff too. I'll need to talk to my bank and PayPal and stuff. There's also the Nin Nin game thread where people are arguing whether or not this ad link when you search for Nippon Yusan is actually paid for by Nin Nin game or not, despite them sort of denying it. I don't, I don't think it really matters whether they do or not, but I will point out that Nin Nin game is one of the, I guess, trusted retailers that are linked on MFC. As far as I'm aware, Nippon Yusan never was. If you wanna, if you want like an actual review of the store, I suggest reading the threads because some people have been screwed over by them. But I think that happens with every store. Nothing's perfect. Uh, but I don't know enough to comment about this. I don't want to spread rumors about some store being bad when I've never used them personally. Anyway, back on the Nippon Yusan hate train. Uh, there's also this Reddit thread from seven months ago, which is also linked to on MFC in the Nippon Yusan thread. Uh, which says Nippon Yusan has either been hacked or willingly sold user information. And I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> so this says, I've just seen some Nippon Yusan account details have been leaked online. A list containing 500 people's email addresses, partial shipping addresses, and phone numbers is currently being circulated as proof of the information for sale. The person that originally led me to this seemed to be claiming that the site owner was somehow involved but all I know for sure is that there's now details of at least the above for 500 accounts floating around. And then back on MFC, this person claims that the list of 500 accounts was linked in this other comment, uh, which has now been removed for people's privacy. Thank you, MFC mods. But yeah, finding out about account details being sold and stuff after this happens, uh, it's not much of a surprise to me. I was always wary when I bought from Nippon Yusan. I just never thought, you know, the situation would ever be as bad as this. 
In another video, if people are interested, I'll go through my own personal experience with Nipponya-san, and especially with my latest order, which is now in purgatory of never being sent to me and me never getting my money back. I just thought I should keep this video uh, sort of non-personal as much as possible. So yeah, that seems to be the situation. If anything else seriously develops about this, I'll make a follow-up video. So just to recap for everyone, uh, Nipponya-san is dead. If you have any outstanding orders with them, things that have not been shipped, you should as soon as possible uh, check with either your bank, your credit card, and I'll leave some links down in the comments to the stuff that I've referenced in this video. And also, if you've ever had a nip on your sign account, your account details and partial shipping information may have been sold off. Uh, because that's the way the world works. So yeah, kind of a downer start to 2022, but I guess this was a 2021 problem. We can kind of sweep it under that rug. But yeah, kind of feeling for everyone who's uh, affected by this. I know how it feels, and it kind of sucks. But until next time, stay safe out there on the internet. This has been the Ando Experience, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.